So this is gonna be my wrong side and this is gonna be the right side. I'm gonna apply super dark, no matching foundation uh, directly to my face without any primer, without anything on there. And this is really much darker, it's not it's no match into my skin. Also, I'm not gonna blend um, foundation with my hairline. So I don't like using a primer, but it's great if you do. Uh, like because I have acne prone skin, so I like using this uh, Aven um, Cleanse Expert Soil Emulsion. So I will prepare my skin. Put this dab it in. And I'll leave that for about five minutes before I apply any foundation. And also I'm gonna use some serum and before I apply foundation I always use either face cream or serum. And I sometimes use a primer but only for special occasion if I need my makeup to last very long. But for every day it's not necessary to use primer for me. So I'm gonna use this Derm Eden uh, serum. I just want my face to be probably moisturized before I apply uh, any makeup. This is such a nice feeling on that side of the face when I can feel that that side is super hydrated. So it will be more pleasurable to put a makeup on. So, uh, so I'm gonna use my perfect color from Primer. And I love Primer foundations. I'm gonna link a video for you here if you wanna uh, see my review about Primer foundations. Sometimes I like using small brushes for my foundation, I put a little bit and I just do it like this and I don't forget about my neck, sometimes my ear and then I take beauty blender and lightly handed I just try to dab everything in rub your foundation of your hairline so this way your foundation is gonna look super natural I also bring it down to my neck a little bit and the worst thing is because we haven't prepared that side of the skin so there's no moisturizer on there and all of the lines will be visible. What look really good is filling the eyebrows like from here and they draw in some kind of box and this is super popular on Instagram I have powder sometimes on, on the top of it to make it look more natural but even if I put a little bit of powder it's still gonna be something like a box in here Just using that stroking motion to imitate the hair and this way they look more natural like my own hair. I'm gonna use an eyeliner and I will start from the wrong side and I've seen it a lot that some people start really really close to their eyebrows to make their eyes look bigger or because on Instagram people do that. of eyeshadow, like a chocolate one from Anastasia. Um, I'm gonna apply it uh, 
because I have a hooded eyes so I'm just gonna concentrate in here and I'm just gonna blend it out and I'm gonna just leave that side without any eyeshadow and just a little bit for Kylie Jenner Eye of the Storm palette and I will use a little bit of this gold one just in the corner what I also see on the wrong side, I'm gonna apply my beautiful shimmer, the same one. Or even better for the whole. I'm gonna apply eyelashes. And I will start from this. These are Ardell Demi Wispies. So I'm gonna need the right one. So I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna do it off camera because that's nothing interesting. I'm gonna apply Demi Wispies, which are really nice and natural on the right eye. And I'm gonna apply some horrible, super dark, oversized eyelashes on the wrong eye. Okay, as you can see on the wrong side, I haven't even trimmed these eyelashes because I've seen people do this as well. They just take out the eyelashes right from the box and they don't trim them. So next thing is gonna be a blush and a highlighter. way too much but some women I just want maybe I'm exaggerating now but I want to just I want you to get the point some women applying a highlighter applying too much because they think you can't see it but even if it's a little bit you can still can see it and if you apply too low and if you have like no really good skin like me you could see pores and they you just exaggerate the pores and if, if you apply too high too close to the eye then you exaggerate your wrinkles here. I'm gonna do now on the wrong side just to exaggerate again and show you that some women think uh, it's good to apply your bronzer like this. So where you have your bones like that some says in three so you're applying a lot on your chin which I'm exaggerating more that I don't have anything here so it's gonna be even darker but I'm doing it in three before I apply a bronzer I like setting up my face the reason for that is just want my face to look uh, even and then I like putting a little bit of bronzer. But what it does, it's just gonna smooth my face beautifully and that's when I like putting my uh, bronzer after. Correct way of applying a bronzer is finding your bone and I don't go uh, when you look straight, I don't go further than in that point. If you go more, I'm gonna look like a man because that's more mainly makeup. So, what we want, we want to concentrate on that point, and I am blending it upwards to the temple a little bit closer to my ear but I'm not bringing it um, that side I'm just bringing it outwards and I also apply my bronzer in my hairline just where naturally sun would touch me when I'm outside of course you can bring it down to your chin, it's gonna look a little bit slimmer if that's what you want. 
but you gotta be careful because especially if you have some hair in here it's good to remove them before because the, you're gonna just exaggerate them and you're gonna have to blend it very well so you don't look like your face is dirty you don't look ridiculous on this side okay i'm gonna use kylie jenner liquid lipstick it's a matte liquid lipstick it's my cat scratching the door uh, in color baby girl and i'm gonna try to oversize my lips slightly this is what it's gonna look like i don't know, like this color and i don't like using a very strong lips color like a bright red or dark red or bright pink if you have a really strong eye makeup and i consider this stupid eyelashes as a strong eye makeup so what i'm gonna do now uh, on the right side i'm gonna apply a neutral kind of nude lipstick uh, a liquid lipstick as well but i'm gonna overline my lips with a lip liner and i'm gonna slightly oversize my lips Use Kylie Jenner matte liquid lipstick in the shade Coco K. I love that shade, it's really neutral. The difference now, my lips. Obviously, this color is not right, and there's no right or wrong with uh, lipsticks. This color would look really great if you tone down your eyes and you just want to exaggerate your lips, but with this makeup this uh, lips uh, color is too strong, too bright, too uh, eye attention drawing while in here everything is so nice and gently put on. Thank you very much guys, I hope you enjoyed that. This is what I actually prefer and this is what I prefer, this is my personal choice. I prefer this kind of makeup, it's very safe going for work, for school. As you can see, this is a very, very gentle makeup and it's not as obvious that you are wearing it. It's just, uh, it's just exaggerating your natural beauty and this is just making you look ugly. Please give me thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear from you what kind of mistakes you make. See you later. Bye.